Hey guys, what's up? This is the Modern Warfare 3 Team Deathmatch Leveling Guide. This is probably the best Team Deathmatch Leveling Guide out there right now. Or strategy, I should say, not even like guide. Um, this is going to get you the most points in Team Deathmatch, no matter how good you normally would do. If you're getting 20 to 40 kills a game and you're pretty good at this game, you're still going to benefit from this. You're going to probably add a minimal of at least a thousand points to your total score every game. If you're only getting nine kills a game and you're scoring less than a thousand, you might even add two to three thousand X, uh, XP slash score, I guess you could say, to your, um, to your points every game. Um, what you're going to do to start off is you're going to go to your strike package and create a class. And you're going to want to change that to support. The reason for this is support kill streaks don't reset upon death which is perfect because that leaves a lot of room for consistency and when I say that I mean like even if you're not doing well or you're dying a lot or you're having a bad day you're just not playing well you're probably going to still be able to do the strategy because support allows you to keep getting your kill streaks even if you're dying a lot um, when you unlock support you're going to want to keep your UAV as default because that's going to be already checked off and you're going to unlock ballistic vest and enable that and you're gonna unlock your recon drone and enable that and I think that requires it requires two unlocks which I think is a minimal of like level 10 I don't really know how you even get unlocks I just need I just know you need two and I got them around level 12 or something so just grind out the first couple levels before you do this um let's see what else I'm about to get a ballistic vest I'll tell you all about that after I die in a second Alright, so what's good about the Ballistic Vest is it's actually helpful for your team. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to throw it into an area where I know a lot of people go or a lot of people spawn. And that's perfect because when my team starts spawning there, they're all going to grab it before they go out into battle. And basically, if your team's filled with kids with mics on the PS3, it's kind of rare. But if you're, like, you're talking to all your teammates and stuff, you kind of want to convince them that it's like an overshield in Halo or it's like Juggernaut in... Uh, COD 4 or something like that. Something that's going to help them because that'll sell them to get it. That's what I do and it kind of works. And you're going to see a bunch of plus 50s on my screen. That's all the people grabbing my vest. You get plus 50 for every time they grab it. And by the end of the game you probably get a total of like plus 400 by even sometimes even more on uh, how many people get it. Probably around like 10 people get it per game. Alright, so now I got the most important piece, the recon drone. Um, R2 is up, L2 is down. If you go too high, you're going to lose signal. And R1 is to tag people. Now basically what I'm doing here, I'm clicking R1 on all, all these people and tagging them. And what tagging does, it, it temporarily blinds them. And it also shows them on the mini-map, as if like you had a UAV just on that person. Except I'm tagging like everybody, so it's like basically a whole UAV. Um, the best part about this is I'm getting 100 points per tag. Which, if you remember how many points per kill you get in Team Deathmatch. So, that's perfectly. Because there's no way I'd be getting all these people this quickly if I was running around killing. But I'm substituting my time by just running around tagging them and getting the same amount of points as I would be. Or well, more points, actually. A lot more. And also, after you tag somebody, if you're on a team that is pretty good and they kill the person that's tagged, you get plus 20 for assist. And that adds up, too. That's about, like... 200 to 400 points a game just from the assists after the tag, not including the tags themselves. Um, you can get shot down if you're in a recon drone. A lot of people will try shooting you. Um, you could take a lot of bullets, though, so you probably don't have to worry about that. I think I've been shot down once or twice after doing this like 20 times, so I wouldn't really worry about that. Sam turrets definitely take you down. I spawned one next to a Sam turret before, and it just took me down instantly. Um, you can lock onto the Sam turret. I've heard this. You can lock onto the Sam turret, like tag them basically, and they then they can't shoot you. I haven't really tried that, but if that works, that would be awesome. Um, you take a lot of bullets on a recon drone, so even if they do hit you, like it probably takes them like two full clips to even take you down. And by the time they can even get two full clips off, your teammates probably have gotten to them. Also. Like I was saying before with the whole you can go too high thing, most maps vary. Like Dome, you can go pretty high up on and because they have that like second floor above that building over there. Depending on how high 
the map lets players go depends on how high your recon can draw. That's basically how it works. Maps like downtown, where there's no real second floors, has very minimal room to... Like, you can't really go that high on that map. Otherwise, you're going to lose signal mad quick. But if on maps like uh, Arkadin, you can fly over all, like, the buildings. And Bootleg, you can fly over, like, all the buildings. Like, it, it varies. You're just going to have to find out for yourself, like, which maps allow you to go, which distance. Um, maps like uh, Mission, Dome, Hard Hat, Village. Those are the best maps to do this on. So if you ever see those, vote it. Maps that don't have a lot of building, basically what it comes down to. Because then you can run around and you don't have to really find buildings. The only map with buildings that it still works decently on is Arkadin. And for some reason, it that the buildings in Arkadin are so big, flying in them is not that hard. See, I went 19 and 12, and I got more points total than the guy who went 14 and 4, which is a great ratio, and 21 and 15, and I got more points than both of them combined. See, this is my, this is proving my point from a four. Like, you don't have to be that great of a player. As long as you can get a couple kills to get the recon drone, you're fine. And um, that's it. I mean, I hope this helped you guys out. I hope this uh, helps you level up quick. It's helped me level up pretty quick. And uh, that's it. Hope you have fun. Subscribe, like if this has helped you. I'm going to be coming out with more uh, tutorial videos and Modern Warfare 3 footage.